Can you not eat or drink for an entire 25 hours? The Jewish people are about to mark Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. This is considered the holiest day of the entire year in the Jewish calendar. And there is no better way to talk about the holiest day for the Jews than in the holiest city for the Jews, Jerusalem. According to tradition, on Yom Kippur, God is deciding each person's fate, whether they will live or die in the next year. The tradition says that God writes the names of the righteous in the book of life and condemns the wicked to death. So Jews are encouraged to make amends and ask forgiveness for sins committed during the past year and prepare their hearts for God on Yom Kippur. On this Day of Atonement, we not only abstain from food or drink, but we also do not wash or apply creams, we do not wear leather and refrain from worldly pleasures. Instead, most people spend the day in the synagogue praying for forgiveness. On Yom Kippur, everything in Israel halts. It's considered the Sabbath of the Sabbath. The roads are free of cars. Even people who are not religious do not go to work and spend the day with their family or close friends. It's a custom to dress in white on this day because it's a symbol of purity. Growing up in Israel, I always remember this day as the most special one. That even cities that never stop, like Tel Aviv and Jerusalem, come to a still as the nation dedicates a day to God. I think it's an important day, especially because we live in an era where nothing stops and it's always go, go, go. But we do stop on this day, and we take time to pray and self-reflect. The first ever Yom Kippur took place after the Israelites' exodus from Egypt and arrival at Mount Sinai, where Moses was given the Ten Commandments. As Moses came back, he saw that the people were worshipping an idol, a golden calf. Moses shattered in anger the Ten Commandments given to him by God. But because the Israelites atoned for their sins and purified their hearts, God forgave them and gave the Israelites a second set of Ten Commandments. On this day, we bless each other by saying Gmar Chatima Tova, which in Hebrew means, may you be inscribed in the Book of Life. I wish you a meaningful fast from Jerusalem.